All right. Hey kids, I'm Kate. And I'm Emma, and we're so glad to be with you guys today. Yes, Sunday is our favorite day of the week. How about you? That's so great. Yes, we have had such a great time in the past few months talking about focus. Focusing on what you can't see because of what you can see. That's right. And today we're talking about a story in the Bible that comes from the book of Matthew. And it's all about the Lord's Prayer. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. It starts with our Father who art in heaven. Yes, and, and I know that one. Do you know that one? I do. I do. I've heard it so many times. And see, that prayer shows you that you can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. Kelly, we're back and we're ready to focus. Are you ready to focus? Good, I'm glad. <laughs> when you focus on something, you discover a lot more about it. You take a closer look. That's when you find out something that maybe you never knew before. Like your friends, for example. Did you know everything about your friends the first time you met? Mm, probably not. So, how'd you get to know more about them? You spent time with them. You had fun with them. You paid attention to what they said, and you learned why they feel the way they feel. You spent time focusing on them. That's why you're BFFs. We've got another great way to focus on God that we'll talk about later today, but you can probably guess what comes first. That's right, a super fun game. I call it Super Zoom. You're about to take a very close look at some extremely zoomed in images. Let me just tell you, these are pretty wild. <laughs> Let's see if you can guess what we're looking at. Any ideas? Believe it or not, that's Velcro. <laughs> I know, crazy. Okay, take a look at the next one. Can you tell what it is? I'll give you a hint. These buzz. It's a bee's eye. <laughs> I never would have guessed. All right, let's try this one. It's really close. Can you guess? Okay, it's a vegetable. <laughs> it's a cucumber. Nice. All right, let's try the next one. I'll give you a hint. We've got a theme going on here. Can you tell what it is? They've got lots of layers. It's an onion. Nice. All right, let's try this one. Super close. It's kind of grainy. Sand. Ah, can't wait to get back on the beach. <laughs> All right, let's try the next one. Hmm, I can't even tell the color of this one. Mm, it's a staple in paper, if anybody got that. Nice. All right, what about this one? Hmm, ah, uh, we use this on food. It makes it taste better sometimes. It's salt! Good job! Okay, this one's fun. Let's see if you can guess. They're super beautiful, and they fly. It's a butterfly wing! Nice job, you guys. <laughs> Those were tough, but they were fun to guess though, right? Now it's time to zoom in and focus on God's love for us as we sing and worship Him together. Get up on your feet! Every other, your love amazes me. You created every beautiful color for everyone to see. I want the world to know, I want my life to show just what your love has done for me.
praise God, cause only you deserve it. I want the world to know, I want my life to show, just what your love has done for me. I'm ready. Come on over. <laughs> okay, do you know what this is? Oh, I know. Uh, that is a keyboard for an old computer. No, it's not. It's clearly a heated ice cream scooper from the future. Ooh. Actually, you're both wrong. It's a phone. No, it's not. No, no, no. You've lost your mind. Okay, no, I have not lost my mind. This is really a phone, I promise. Um, okay, what, what's a phone number you know off the top of your head? Um, easy. 555-9080, Mario's Pizza. I always have to note in case I'm in a pizza emergency and my phone has died. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So if you were to call Mario's Pizza, Ooh. this is how you'd do it. Five. 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 Nine. Nine. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Zero's right there. Eight. 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 taking so long, why? Can you believe people used to communicate this way? And at that time, this was the future. Like before this, people had phones, but the whole neighborhood was on a single line. So when you tried to call somebody. Hello? Hey, Samantha, it's Wilson. Hi, Wilson. <laughs> As it was saying, anyone who was on the line could pick up and answer. Uh, Kyle, I'm trying to talk here. Sorry. Anywho, how's it going? It's pretty good. <laughs> and before that, we had the invention of the telegraph, where you could type in messages using Morse code. You know what that was? Lol. <laughs> Texting takes forever on this thing. And before that, people relied on letters. And even before that... Hey, what does this one say? Huh, uh, watch more. Closer look. Uh -huh. <gasps> we 
we have always had a desire to communicate. I myself have like so many ideas I just want to get out and share with the world. And we have countless inventions that can help us do just that. Some are incredibly impressive, like the smartphone. I mean, if you showed a smartphone to your grandparents' parents, their minds would be blown. Still though, there are some old timey ways of communicating that are still just as good. More on that after this. Hello? Yeah, so I ate an entire funnel cake and then I got on the double Ferris wheel. Over. Oh, I think I know where this is going. I bet that funnel cake didn't care for the ride, did it? Over. Oh no. And there I was at the top and then my stomach started to do a thing. Well, you know. And then I look down and I see my Aunt Flossie and then, oh, gotta go, Blue Lizard. Maybe we can chat later. Over. Sure thing, Desert Turtle. Hey everyone. Kellen here and we've been talking this week about how we can take a closer look at the world around us and how God is at work in our world and in our lives. And that requires us to focus. Now, a lot of times when we talk about focusing, we think about what we can see with our eyes, but sometimes we need to focus our attention on something. Like say you have to finish your homework and your mom or dad say you need to focus on your assignment before you can go outside and play with your friends. We can also focus with other senses. Now, there's a lot of noise in our world. We have computers and tablets, cell phones, commercials, YouTube, video games, a lot of things that want to get your attention. Kellen? Kellen. 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 So yeah, a lot of things can get our attention. So how do we focus on what matters? This week, we've tried to take a closer look at the things God has created and focus on some of the stories of Jesus. When we pay close attention, we can see things that point us to a God who loves us and wants to be a part of our lives. But how does God want to be a part of your life? Well, one way is prayer. But what is prayer? How do we pray? It's a tough question, isn't it? I mean, we have this God who we know loves us and did some incredible things for us, like send us Jesus. But how do we talk to God? Thankfully, in the book of Matthew, we have a story written about Jesus where he talked about prayer. Jesus was talking with his disciples and gives them a prayer they can pray. This is sometimes called the Lord's Prayer. Maybe you've learned a different translation, but here's one version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. So. This prayer gives us a pretty good model of how and what we should pray for. And here to help me demonstrate are my best friends, John and Brandon. Hey fellas, are you ready to help me out? Sure thing. Thy truest wishes indeed proclaimed, forsooth I am ready. All right. So the prayer starts off, our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. Okay. Hey, God. That's it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thy God of the highest place, thou namest be risen from the depths to the highest of highestest. Um, okay. And the next part. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is done in heaven. God, I just want the world to be a little kinder. Help me to be more like Jesus to the people in the world. Oh boy. 
your kingdom reigneth now and forever is more. Hear ye, hear ye! May all of us have crowns, so thou'st kingdom cometh. Verily, verily! Hear ye, hear ye! Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye! Yeah, so I think it's a good idea to remember here that God's kingdom is a little different than what we think when we hear the word kingdom. I don't think it quite means we're all going to get actual crowns. God's kingdom is where God reigns. When we ask for God's kingdom to come, we want the world to look more like heaven. We want to see his goodness and kindness be more and more a part of this world, right here, right now. God's kingdom is the most awesome place to be. It's a place that has no sickness or pain or hunger. And that's why we want God's kingdom to come. And we want to be a part of bringing it by doing what we can to make the world look more and more like heaven. So we ask God to bring his kingdom. Right. His kingdom. Of course. So the next part, give us today our daily bread. God, you know what I need. Thank you for taking care of me. Make thou bounty reigneth on us, like manna from the heavens. Manna, manna. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's right. Jesus says God already knows what we need, but we can ask God to take care of what we need in our lives. It's not just physical bread, well, I mean it could be, but bread means the things in your life that you need. And just a reminder, there's a big difference between what you may want and what you need. And just a reminder, John, you don't have to use super fancy language. You can just talk to God. Oh. All right, last part. And forgive us our sins, just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. Hey, do you mind if I go first? God, I don't always think of others or of you. I can be selfish. Help me to make the wise choice, even when it's hard. Yeah, God, what John said. That was great. Thanks, guys. Sure thing, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. We'll see you later. Later. I think what John and Brandon showed us is really helpful. There are a lot of ideas that we get about prayer that aren't necessarily true. We think we have to pray with certain words or we have to pray at certain times of the day. Let me ask you a question. When do you have to pray? Before you eat? Nope, you don't have to. I mean, it's great to be thankful for what God gives you, and if that's a tradition in your family, that's great, but you don't have to. You could pray after your meal, or anytime you're thankful for what God has given you. Pray to Him then. You can just talk to God whenever you think about it. What about this? Do you have to pray out loud? No. God knows your thoughts, so you can pray silently, anywhere. Sometimes it might be helpful to pray out loud to focus your mind, but it's not something you have to do. Oh, here's something else. When are the times that we should talk to God? Just when you're sad? Or just when you need something? No. We can talk to God when we're happy or when we're excited. In fact, we can talk to God about anything. You can talk to God when you're happy or when you're excited. The fact is we can talk to God about anything. Because even though you can't see God literally standing right in front of you, you can talk to God and he's always listening. Oh, and it's like you have this walkie talkie and God's on the other side and the batteries never run out and you're never out of range for God to hear you. God wants to hear from you. He wants to know what's going on in your life. And as you talk to God, you'll learn a little bit more about God and probably a little more about yourself. Well, that's all I got for you today. And I'll see you next time as we continue to take a closer look. Oh, Blue Lizard, Blue Lizard, this is Desert Turtle. Do you copy? Oh, okay, they're back, over. Okay. <laughs> there are so many ways to communicate today. Texting, FaceTiming. Hey! Sorry about that. <laughs> what I was trying to say is there are still some old school ways of communicating that are still just as fun. 
like. Hello! Oh, 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 Kyle! Hi! Where are you right now? I'm on the other side of this can. <laughs> this is a communication tool you can make right at home. All you need are two tin cans and some string. See, when we talk, our voices vibrate into the air. So when we talk into the can, like so. Hello! The vibration travels from one can to the other and into the ear of your friend. <laughs> Hi, Samantha! Oh, this is incredible! I know! <gasps> Wilson! <gasps> Wilson! Wilson, you gotta check these out! Communication is one of our most basic needs. And in this new modern age, it's so easy. We can talk to anyone, anywhere. We don't rely on the length of a string from one side of the room to the other anymore. We can talk to anyone across the world and even beyond. beyond, beyond, beyond. What's that, Kyle? Sorry, I couldn't hear you from all the way up here. I was making a point that you could communicate all over the world and even into space now. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool, huh? But also, check this out. It's a Twinkie. Pretty cool, right? doing there, Samantha? I'm trying to get this can up to Wilson. Uh, I, I don't think the string is going to reach space, buddy. You have a point. <sighs> Hello? Anyone there? I can hear myself. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Hey there, let's get tacos. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite people to talk to? Mine are Samantha and Wilson, but who is that person for you? Remember, sometimes it can be frustrating to communicate the ideas in your head. That's why you gotta have people around you to talk them out with. After all, it is just no fun to talk by yourself, right? What do you think? Maybe we should get a guacamole platter and then a Baja Fish Taco special? Unless, of course, you're Samantha. Let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> See you guys next time on Closer Look. Let's do it. It's a date. Okay, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Come on, let's 
Pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. That's true, you know. Can you pray at six in the morning? Yes! Can you pray at six in the evening? Yes! Can you pray at the dinner table? Can you pray in your room? Can you pray with your family? Can you pray with a friend? Can you pray on video chat? Can you pray when you're happy? Can you pray when you're sad? Can you pray when you're worried? Can you pray when you're mad? Yes! The answer is yes to all of it. You never have to wonder if it's the right time to pray. You can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. Praying is an amazing way for us to focus on God. We can grow in our relationship with Him and discover new things about Him every day, all by taking the time to talk to Him. Here's a question for you. When do you pray to God? Talk about it with whoever is there with you right now. I'll see you later. I love the Lord's Prayer. It's a great guideline for us to follow. Now you don't have to say those words exactly, but it's a good tip for you to follow when you pray. Yes, you're right. And that was such a great story. Prayer is just talking to God like you talk to your best friend. Okay, so I think we need to put in practice what we're talking about. Do you think we should pray? That's a great idea. I love prayer. So let everybody bow your heads, close your eyes, and we're gonna pray to God. Jesus, we thank you so much for who you are. We thank you that you're a good, good father. We thank you that you love us. We thank you we can go to you with anything and talk to you about when we're sad or when we're mad or when we're happy. We're so glad, God, that you are available to us anytime and any hour. We love you, we thank you, and we bless you. In the name of Jesus, everyone say, Amen. Okay. That was a great lesson today. Remember, you can talk to God about everything. That's right. You can tell him everything that's going on in your life, and he's always there for you no matter what. Amen. Okay, that's it for today. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.